What up, Internet? This is Chris of Filmcats bringing you some kind of serious news about the whole Verizon stuff that's going on. I guess we'll open up with a cat just to keep this kind of, like, lighthearted. Have you ever seen a cat that's inbred? What up, Internet? This is Chris of Filmcats bringing you some juicy tech news about the whole Verizon uh, strike protest thing that's going on right now. Let me just break it down with some quick info. There's 45,000 employees that are on strike right now. There used to be even more a couple years ago in the union, but Verizon has been good about slowly siphoning them out and hiring non-union people. So there's less than there were before, and Verizon is continuing to chip away at the union. Um, what they're doing now is they're trying to take away benefits, and that's why so many people are protesting. Uh, Verizon employees are going to have to pay higher health care, health... Uh, excuse me, health insurance premiums, and they're going to have to um, be concerned about their jobs being outsourced. That's another big part of it, too. So this is just like a corporation having a big attack on the middle class, and then a lot of people at Verizon in the middle class are just saying no, and they're standing in the streets. They're blocking Verizon vans and stuff like that. They're harassing people that are doing their, like, filling their jobs. Uh, people in the area, like up north where this is actually happening and going on, they can't dial 911. They're having a hard time getting on the internet. And that's when people revolt, especially people like me. Like when you try to get on your internet and it doesn't work and all of a sudden it's just like, ah! And if I found out that Verizon was the reason that my internet wasn't working, I would be out there too. I love the internet. Okay, let's take a look at some uh, videos that have been posted to YouTube, like within the past 24 hours that are concerning this strike that are pretty serious. For John Simcoe, this is the sound of a strike, static. And when he finally got through to Verizon, that is what they told him. 68-year-old Simcoe, who lives in Munhall, knows the importance of calling 911 because he's a retired Munhall police officer. So he was alarmed with what he heard next. They said, there's a problem, but we can't tell you what it is. We could send somebody out September the 9th. <laughs> That's what I did, too. I laughed. And this from Verizon spokesperson Lee Gerzinski. The longer this goes on, the longer the wait time for customers' repairs. We're being conservative in our estimates and are trying to beat those. And striking workers outside U.S. Senator Pat Toomey's office weighed in. Well, that's part of a strike, but we would gladly go fix them if they give us what we need and get back to work. We don't want to be here. We're sorry for those people. We're sorry for them. But you know what? The management think they can do it. That goes to show Verizon needs us. So Verizon recommends at a time like this, be prepared and get a prepaid cell or track phone if you don't have a regular cell. Sally Wigan, Channel 4 Action News. Way to go, Verizon. You found a way to profit off of this strike. So you just let all the, like, all the quality of the lines degrade. And then when you do answer the phone, you tell people to buy a track phone, which is owned by or is in cahoots with Verizon, so somehow you're going to be making money off this? Way to go. You guys are so good. Like, that's really creative. Other cool tricks that Verizon is now doing is that uh, MLK Day and Veterans Day are up for debate as if those are going to be holidays or something along those lines. So what a great way to really, like, fuel the fire and contain this situation than by uh, getting MLK and a whole bunch of, like, Black Panther people right behind it. Uh, that Reverend Jesse dude is going to be, like, stomping around what have you guys started and taking away veterans day man especially when we have like 14 wars going at once what a great time to instill some faith in verizon by like dangling veterans day or taking it off the table putting it on the table this stuff is really confusing okay let's take a quick look at this dude interviewing uh some verizon strikers you know what i mean they got people mad at them y'all better get your shit straight you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's really going on, what's going on with what I see. And right now I see some people mad. Tell them why you mad, son. Well, we're trying to take, that, take away our medical. That's the whole thing. They're not decreasing any pay of the people at the top, but they're decreasing our pay and trying to take away the medical, which is, which is going to decrease our pay. The more we have to pay out our check for that medical, which we work in dirty houses, yeah. crawl spaces underneath for the public housing. Yeah. You know, we got all these things. Why? We need our medical. We can take anything home at any time. Yeah. And we got a young lady here. She has a baby, brand new baby. She has to take care of. Yes, and we do. He's right. We do need our medical, and that's why we're out here fighting. And we're not giving in. We just want Verizon to know, and we want all the customers to know, don't give in. 
Y'all yeah. hear that? And that's a pretty young lady right there, too. Hey, thank you. They say the people, they, they out here, man. They out here. Verizon, y'all better get y'all shit together, man. I'm glad I ain't got y'all for no phone, sir. For real, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll the sign. Um, why this is happening is because Verizon's doing really good. Um, their first quarter reportings this year were triple the previous year. They're not one of these companies that's getting bailed out all the time. They're doing really well. And they're going to keep doing really well because they're slowly siphoning off their own employees. Um, what they're doing is they're raising the health care premiums by a good chunk. And people are going to have to pay more money every month. This is going to cost the employees more and the company, the corporation, is going to profit. And a lot of people are freaking out about that. It's kind of also a middle class thing where it's an attack just on like the large percentage of America. And people are getting concerned about outsourcing too. Um, a lot of Verizon people are concerned that their like, uh, phone jobs are going to get, maybe phone jobs wasn't the right word for it, but they're concerned that they're going to get outsourced like to India, uh, just to overseas and stuff like that. And people are getting scared. Okay, I do want to try to be a little bit balanced and present a little bit of the other side of the point of view. Um, some people think that these whole union sides are just this huge, like, economic siphoning thing, and that the longer the strike goes on, there's just union people cackling at the top as they make money. So take that with a grain of salt, and know that uh, these people protesting, I believe, are getting paid. Whatever, like, the three-letter abbreviation is, um, I think they get, like, $100 for the first week, $200 for the second, and then $300 if it continues to go on for a third. Okay, that's it for this episode of Phone Cats. I uh, hope I informed you a little bit about the Verizon strike, and feel free to explode your rage in a comment below. Um, if you liked this, let us know, and tell us uh, new innovations that we can bring to this, because Phone Cats is a blossoming lotus. Never give a fuck how far I You are dealing with a reborn I took a late older guy's